what's up, what's up? Welcome back, everybody. It's the We All We Got podcast. Hey, bienvenue. Uh, how do you say welcome in Spanish? Bienvenido. Hey, eso es el podcast de, de seis amigos. It's like now, nah, but welcome back, y'all. Same crew, minus one again. <laughs> I know y'all getting used to this, but uh, we, got a, we got a pretty good topic for y'all this week. Uh, we're going to talk about what it was like, uh, the dating world, so to speak. Uh, the topic we're going to introduce is a very popular topic in religious institutions called the ring by spring. Uh, I personally have no experience with this. I think the person that came the closest to having experience with this is not on today. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> really only one of us married someone from that school. <laughs> He's like, I plead, I plead the fifth. I'm out. <laughs> but yeah, no, so let's just kind of, we're, we're going to talk about that. Uh, we might cut up a little bit more this week, so y'all pardon us. We might lose monetization this week, but uh, <laughs> hey, if that's the case, we got cheers early then. Yeah. All right, <laughs> we still on that. We still on that pure white end, dog. We put it up there. No matter what you're drinking, just pour up a little bit for the. Put it up. All right, Thomas, what you got? Thomas said he has some. Hey, look, this that double oak. Not um, I'm gonna the camera. It's double oak bourbon right here. Oh shit! I, I don't know where it's from, but the shit tastes good. Probably yeah, I know Thomas can read, so appreciate that. Can you taste the second oak in there? Pause. Pause. I mean. wait, wait a minute, granddad. Chill out. I mean, you were yeah. messing up, man, about the oak. I know. You, had, you specified the double. <laughs> All right. But, yeah. Anyway, I don't know how we're going to start this off. But, but, what is, who wants to define for me, what is Ring by Spring? I mean, my understanding of Ring by Spring is that, at least at Christian institutions, it don't matter. It's just the idea that at least by the final year or your senior year of college, you should at least be in a serious relationship or have proposed, have a fiance, or have had somebody locked down before you graduate or else you slipping. That's it. So wait, like, while we're on this topic, <laughs> I want to turn this shit up early. We all know people that proposed to people multiple fucking times. And oh, dang. This, oh, wow. this did not happen. <laughs> hey, and to be fair, ring by spring don't mean like, it. honestly, it, the, way it, the way it was at the PWI we went to, it wasn't like I met you in freshman year fall and I'm getting you that ring by spring of senior year. Nah, nah. that joke was like, I met you in the fall. I'm trying to get you the ring literally by spring, man. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I just remember. <laughs> ring by spring is like last resort. Like, yo, like by spring you ain't got your ring. Like, yo. It's uh, some real like bachelor shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. Like, and that could uh, be a fire show on Netflix. So monetize yeah, that. Nah, for real, for real. Like, the way shit is now, yeah. Like, like yeah. I see people people watch that Amish show. Like, I see people watching, like, yo, the, the quest for a ring by spring, something like that. Yeah, I see that being a hit. Yeah, you know what? You get it on the right network, something. yeah. Hey, look, we gotta stop talking about this. We gotta talk to our lawyer, man. About to, about to hit up TLC. <laughs> yo, yo. This might, I'm gonna have to drop this on Amazon Prime. Yeah, yeah. Ah, no. If, if y'all want to talk about heard... TLC, that's where I spent all my time. So, how yeah, I mean, with that? I heard someone call TLC the black BET. I mean, the white BET. I'm all said the black BET. You got 90 yeah. Day Fiance. Why you can't have Ring by Spring? This is the thing. Same. We just got to get the logistics, but it can happen. Right? It can definitely Dang. happen. Yeah, but, hey, we joking about it, but it really was a thing, though. Like, yeah. there literally were people walking around trying to like really focus on. And you know what? It's probably my fault because I held that speed dating event at Geneva, so they probably really <laughs> took that. It makes sense. They took it so serious, man. Nah. That was the culture. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. It was there before you, bro. You probably, <laughs> yo, you helped somebody out. You were like, oh, shoot, this is my opportunity. <laughs> but. Yeah. Yeah, and and I mean just to make it clear, this isn't just like some legend or some like. It really happened. Just it really is a thing. Like I mean, no one forces you, obviously, because none of us gave out rings yeah. by spring. But it's just it's just the Fuck culture. No, baby. Like, yeah. like you go to get your education, and you might get a wife or a husband. So yeah, you know. it was also a culture of dating too. Like people really went there and just tried to jump into dating right away. 
Jar, would you upside down, man? They on his Spider Man shit. Yeah. Miles Morales. Him if he's about to be gone. <laughs> Him if he's about to be gone. <laughs> but nah, yo, I was going to say, I, I thought about that. Ain't that man yo, really out there. What'd you say? <laughs> Damn, they teleport to the bathroom? <laughs> nah, it's yeah, John, extra messed up. Yeah, well, that man really out of there. What you, you saying, Chia? Nah, I was just trying to figure out, like, why it was like that. Like, I don't know why everybody was... And I know for me, like, personally, it was almost like, damn, if you're not dating a Mary, then you're not finna date. Like, like, like you just need to know on the spot, like, damn, if... I start dating this girl, and then I gotta put a ring on it. That's just just how it works, you know. You ain't have time to that's feel it out enough. Yeah, yeah, you know, really, you just had to be like, "Yep, that's her." God, God says she's the one. And I'm like, man, if you don't know no better, you gonna like, you just lock the first one down that you date. <laughs> like, you know what's crazy? Question. What's up, man? When y'all first got to college, were you guys actively trying to date people, or were you trying to just chill? Fuck no. Shit. My my parents was like, you got to study. So I didn't eat. I was honestly like, I didn't even, it wasn't even on my radar. I, for real, for real. <laughs> that boy Thomas was hunching at orientation, man. <laughs> Thomas was getting it in. <laughs> hey, I got recruited the first fucking night. I was not trying to bring no, fuck no. Uh uh-uh, uh, sorry. I'm 19 years old up here. Fuck no. Yeah, 18, like, you don't that know what's a, going on. But that's no idea. But, but like for it was really like one of them things that you had to pay attention to because motherfuckers would ask you, like, hey, I see you guys talking. You guys gonna get married? The fuck this? Uh-uh. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, that happened a really lot. Like if you started just like hanging out with a chick a lot, they'd be like, Oh, y'all dating this like, yeah. like oh, serious together. Uh, like, like we got three yeah. classes together. <laughs> But a lot of times, that's I how it works, man. I, like, <laughs> uh, Ian, you remember this, man? Senior year, I had the one. I had the. <laughs> I ain't gonna get into it. <laughs> nah, but we gonna talk about that shit. We gonna talk about that No, but remember, remember, bro. I don't know if you remember, bro. Senior year, me and the girl Caitlin started hanging out a lot. But we had to. But we had two classes together. We both were a mentor of a mentor program. So like, we just started hanging out, and everybody was like. Y'all dating? I was like, bro, I just met the chick like two weeks ago. <laughs> now, after that, different story. But it is. <laughs> we seen y'all in the brig twice. Y'all go together. You know what I'm saying? If you in the That's cafe, it. If you swipe your card within 30 seconds of them, three times in a row, y'all go together. Y'all, like, don't, buy her, don't buy her. Don't buy her. Did you walk her to class? Bitch, we got the same oh, class. shit. Yeah. We got the same class. Oh, yo, I forgot about the walk in the class thing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> y'all sit to, y'all sit together in chapel. Oh yes. Yep. Oh, that, <laughs> that be the one. What? Y'all sitting together at chapel? Oh, y'all yeah, married. Y'all yeah, damn yeah, right. There was there were there was this one girl that wanted to talk to Briscoe so bad that she she was in me and Jeff's, I think it was our humanity class, and she would literally write our papers for us just to hang out with Briscoe. Or you gotta put that. You gotta put a name on that in the chat, man. You gotta. Put, <laughs> you know who it is. I don't know, know who it is. You know who it is. Your senior year. Your senior year. I don't remember, bro. It's the same person you was just talking about. For real, she said that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. like, you welcome. You welcome. I got your papers. I, know, I was hyped. Yeah. I was like, I was not trying to explain my worldview. <laughs> Damn. I'm trying to explain a calling, bro. I already got my degree. I can I can tell it like it is now. That's fair. Hey, but you know what? To be fair though, there's a lot of pressure on that, Max. At the end of the day, like a lot of women up there did expect to be like really locked down at the end of that year. Like at the end of that semester and year, they expect to be locked down. So there's pressure mm-hmm. on the dude. Like, you know how it is, man. Especially, why are your camera so clear? Yeah, that shit, HD. <laughs> Crystal clear reception. Yeah, so I had hey, technical bro. difficulties. I had to go fix that real quick. My yeah, it looks like you went and go bought a new laptop. Dude. Yeah, that's right. what that shit look like. I, let me clean my I, camera. I switched out my phones. All right, Kevin Gates. Hey. 
But what was you saying? There's pressure. Yeah. That pre- yeah, the pressure. You tell us about the pressure, pressure Jarwood. Yo, yeah, Jarwood. We know Jarwood had all the pressure. Yeah, yeah. Jarwood's in a relationship. I was literally about to ask a question. Like, did any of y'all feel from anybody y'all was talking to or seeing that there was pressure to propose? <laughs> <laughs> Hell, one of the girls I was talking to was already mm-hmm. on her second proposal. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, so that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, whenever y'all ready, that's a couple of things. When I think about it. So, one, I just remember, like, freshman year, dude. This dude, we were freshmen, bro. And he just started dating this girl, bro. And he took her out to Chinese. And he proposed. And she said no. And he came back. And he was crying, bro. I remember that shit. I hey. was crying. And we had to, like, console dude and shit. But I was like, now, nah, like, thinking about it, I'm like, bro, how crazy is that shit? But it was all, like, you know, I remember he was a... No, this nothing against pastor's kids, but I remember he was like a pastor's kid too, and it was just like he felt like he had failed or something. I could tell, and I was like, "Bro, it's we're like eighteen, bro. Like yeah, it's not like, that it's serious, so much there, yeah, man. It's not." Yeah, but yeah. I remember him being like really tore up, and I was just like, "Man, I guess I guess this is how it is at Pierce Hall. I don't know." So to stay on that same note, and I got I ain't gonna name drop. But yeah, there was a person on that made me name drop. <laughs> All right, well, shit. You know what I'm saying? We go, Mr. Caputo, right? This motherfucker, you know, he did the proposal <laughs> over the summer. <laughs> and Buddy didn't get the answer he wanted. And he was hurt the entire, just that whole last year. Entire, yeah. <laughs> proposal didn't Yo, <laughs> actually, now that you say, that was one story. This was in my senior year. I actually remember this one girl. I don't know what was her thing. I'm going to just say she worked at the cabinet. And she dated a bunch of guys, but I remember she dated this dude on the football team, and I used to bullshit with him every now and then. And over the summer, he proposed to her, and, like, she broke up with him. She said no and broke up with him. And, bro, he literally told me, like, he was, like, suicidal, bro. Like, (laughs) and I was like, in my mind, what you going to do? You just going to be like, nah, you know, uh, what's that suicidal song? Beautiful girls? You're like, nah, it'd be like that. (laughs) The the kids say say it unalive now. In the yeah, words unalive. Of I'm like, damn, bro. Girls it's not. are like buses. <laughs> Miss one, next 15, one coming. And yeah. what Gucci said. But it was just the pressure. And I say that because it's the pressure that people felt like yeah. at the college. And it just like, I don't know if it like is tied to your identity yeah, too. Like, like you gotta like, you gotta lock them down. You gotta do this. Like there's like an image or like an expectation, whether yeah. it's like, I don't know, but it's a real and thing. It was definitely a real thing. You know what I, I got? Is? I got two theories on where that comes from. I also didn't have a lot to pick from. I, I, I'll go with the first theory, and then if no one else gets the second. Well, the first theory to me is because, you know, we said uh, it's a lot of, like, religiously minded people. Um, so to me, the pressure to get married is the pressure to have sex. Oh, 1,000%. 100%. 5,000, bro. Like, for me, I'll never forget, the because I think our freshman year at Chia, uh, there was a couple that got engaged or got married that summer of our freshman year. Oh, God. And I was like, to me, that's, and they were homeschool kids. So, like, to yeah. me, there's nothing else there. They just wanted to get it in. And at that point, I don't know if you're doing yourself a disservice. I mean, I guess if they stay together, the point is achieved. But, uh, so that's my first, that's my first thing I can see. So, I'm going to let anybody else go. I think it's okay. like, if you look at a big school, like say if you go to somewhere like West Virginia or Alabama or Tennessee or Notre Dame or a big school like that, if you see a chick that you really like, you probably got to talk to her right then and there because you might not see her again until senior year because the school is so big. But I feel like small schools, it almost works the same way. Like if you see a chick you like, you might want to talk to her right now because the school is so small, everybody going to see her within a week and everybody going to be at her. So you might as well be her. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, there really <laughs> yes. was that stuff going on during orientation freshman year. That was definitely yeah. You're at orientation, but you better strike now, otherwise. <laughs> by the time you get the midterm, she gone, player. Her, her sights naked. are going to be oriented to someone else. <laughs> yo, funny, funny story, yo. I do remember because now that I think about it, I did date a girl there that had already. She was engaged, and then she I was like, waiting for you to bring this up. <laughs> yeah, I was. I forgot about that, y'all. <laughs> yeah, but no, that's how real it was. She got engaged at 18 and then broke up with dude because 
for reasons I can't get into, but essentially they might have been unfaithful or something like that. But that was at 18 you got engaged. And then I didn't even realize like that wasn't normal. Like you be dating people that's already like been engaged like twice, something like that. Like that's crazy. At 19. At 19. And to add to that, yo, I remember going to a (laughs) wedding. It's so crazy now I think about it. Like in the summer, I went to a wedding for like these kids that were still like juniors at Geneva. And then she told me, super crazy, that they uh they actually like reached out to a professor after their wedding to find out how they can uh how sex works because they know how how it works. So <laughs> real life, bro. <laughs> so that's like I'm not I w- I'm not even surprised. They're like, how do you do it? Getting married that don't know shit about life, but now look, subject. I mean, get married by. Eight. I'll be the devil's advocate. Like maybe there is some I don't know. I want to say nope. nah. There's not. I'm not even gonna try. No, what were you to say? <laughs> nah, I was gonna talk about like the innocence. Like you know, y'all y'all first time together. Y- you know, y'all don't know nothing else. But I, I get mean, it. <laughs> that's that's how it's supposed to be per the yeah. Bible. I mean, <laughs> right. now you could probably read a book to learn. Uh, as opposed yeah. to I mean, professor, this, these I mean. days you just watch a video, but. <laughs> but like what still you watching, no. <laughs> no. What I'm just about <laughs> anatomy. Well, well, I'm just saying <laughs> what you mean by that. Well, I'm just saying, like we all took an anatomy class or something, but it's just like people jump into that because the expectation is so high and it's like you I guess you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> yeah. But I so mean, then this question comes up is that do we feel like that's a Geneva thing, or is that uh, it? Could it be a PW or a college thing? Well, like I don't know. I can only right. speak from my experience. I, you know, I mean, granted, you see those you see those couples that go through college at other schools, and then they get married after they get out of college. But so I can just based on like like my wife went to a D one like school, and like I know. There are a lot of people that like meet in college, but they date like after college too. Like they're not really trying to get locked down right then. So he might go to the NFL and, you know, if that happens, maybe they'll get married or something like that. But it doesn't, I don't think they felt the same pressure to like lock it down. That's nah. just. Unless you just, you know, it's some LeBron and Savannah type stuff or. Yeah, or something like that. But yeah, hmm. they, yeah. They, that's high school. Not mine, not LeBron. Are y'all there for real? Like, it's nah. it's, 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 not. 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 Oh no one thinks LeBron ever can. He knows how much money this man has, right? That nigga, hey, I look. think, but I, I don't know. Nah, it, bro, get out of here. I, I, can't, I can't substantiate any of my claims, so. That's exactly. just hearsay. I'm not really? saying he never has. I just don't cool. think right. I don't think he is. Bro, I feel like he also has a lot to lose. Yeah, like, like right image, now, image is so clean. Now he does. His image is so clean. If he, if there was a cheating scandal that came out on LeBron James, bro, he. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he could run for president. I feel like if it, if it did happen, it it can't come out. Like he has so much money, like. It's I mean, you're going to take half of it, but... Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're going to get more than half. That would, that would be a lot. Bro, if Jay-Z's... Like, you got to think, if Jay-Z shit came out, right. you know, LeBron shit would come out. Bro. Yeah. And That's like true. Said, That's true. Bro, if, if Robert Kraft shit came out, a billionaire, no. then everybody should No, no. That's no, a little different, different, bro. Robert Kraft is a How do you billionaire getting a $5 fee? <laughs> <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. He also like, like black people, but hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah. R. Kelly didn't make it, but anyway. All right. Well, we keep bringing it yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why we all we got? Because we talk about shit like this. It's completely <laughs> off fucking topic. Yo, can you imagine being a high school kid like in Chicago when R. Kelly was in Chicago? Like in a normal high school, you just got to compete with the guys in your high school. <laughs> in Chicago, you got to compete. <laughs> Hey, he's pulling the plot next to an artist. <laughs> he bit, but bro, he ain't got a, he ain't got a chance, bro. That nigga, that nigga been that way his entire life. Like my granddad told me that, that he's senior dating freshman. Uh, 
like, like so it's, weird. It's all in that way. I, I <laughs> yeah, that would be crazy. Nobody would believe you either. You can, no, you can, you'd be like, R. Kelly came to my store and be like, what? Right. <laughs> or if I had a daughter and I was like, how was school today? It was good. R. Kelly came. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> you to that office. <laughs> But you know how it is. Like, where'd y'all go? We went to Big Town. <laughs> must have signed me. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's how it goes. No. Nah, like, you're really girl. talented. Like, I'm gonna tell I might get a record deal. You play lacrosse now. <laughs> that's, yeah, no. Uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> well, okay, let me play devil's advocate. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm just trying to say, I feel like I haven't heard of any. Geneva divorces yet. So that's another thing. I do. I was thinking about that recently, and I was like, you know how I'm. I don't know how it works. Like, I guess like schools get funding based on like how they're like, what you call it, like pass rates. Like if there's like a ninety two percent pass rate, then y'all get like better funding. It's yeah. almost like if we stay, yeah, if we stay married, then it shows that that shit worked. Even if we're not happy, so you think they're staying married to prove a point? I think Geneva pays Geneva? Geneva? I, I, I was gonna say when he started, I thought he was gonna say, you know, like Geneva gets scholarships." <laughs> and <getting> married. Oh, <laughs> no. I mean, shit. Yeah, they do about that. Yeah, they give them more like a oh, it, 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 they, uh, they give them tax cuts, bro. You know, they probably get their kids probably get to go there for a discount. Like if you're yeah, so yeah, yeah. Bad at Geneva and they could live off campus if they got married. That was another incentive. <laughs> Hey, what, what is some Geneva marriages I'd be rooting for? Because but you know, yo, on that cool. because again, I don't really be keeping up, but I do remember this one chapel, bro, where this one girl was like speaking and she broke down telling us about her husband was that was cheating on her that went to Geneva. Y'all might not remember this, but it was one of them chapels that she talked like she literally was on stage and like you paid attention to a lot of chapels. Yeah, I did. I don't, I don't remember that one. <laughs> she I don't remember did. that one. She legit was like, dude was cheating on her, but you know, stay together because that's the right thing to do. Which I get it, you know. Wait, yeah, that's... I, feel like, I feel like Geneva couples don't break up because of like the religious thing. Like, oh, that's the thing. Bro, like, there's this book. Hey, the wait, wait. Get a divorce. We have we have a Geneva couple friend. Well, friends. Oh. Well, <laughs> we do, we do. And they're still together. <laughs> right. Yeah. They're together for a hot minute. You know what I'm saying? We said I'm to think we talk about, but that wasn't said, that wasn't a ring by spring type of thing. That was like I wish it out. Took your sweet time. Hey, yeah, we need Jeff up on this one because yeah. he's the closest <laughs> to the situation. He can I tell us on her everything. Because like, remember last podcast he was talking about uh He was saying how like people still call him up like yo are y'all still together like <laughs> what I didn't know that. You did Bro, say I will that. never forget. I will never forget the day Jeff hit me up was like yo put me on just team. <laughs> I said, dog, I got you. I'm not yeah. taking credit, but that's the closest it gets to Whoa, whoa hold on, hold on. I'm just saying. Me and Jerry would should get some credit. I do remember. It, it was definitely, I was about to say, I'm going to say nothing, but. It's a different story at the win. D would come back to the room like, yo, Jar, <laughs> what's going on with her, bro? <laughs> Hey, we, hey, we ain't finna cook my man here and defend himself, hey, man. Hey, hey, look, he gonna see this shit. He got it. This is a beautiful love story. It is. Here, right? They probably really? one of my favorite couples, yo. Like, yeah, for real, for real. That's, that's, that's one I could say that we were all rooting for. Like, we yeah. could see it before it happened. Right. Stop. I'm saying, like, don't get it twisted. What's up? I'm just saying that might be the only one I was rooting for at Geneva. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Hey, I don't know, I don't know man. Me at least had y'all in the first half. We, yeah, y'all did. Yeah, the <laughs> yeah. The yeah they would have broken so much ground. Spring spring. Hey. Huh? They would have yeah. broken ground like a first, like a black couple coming oh, out of Geneva. Man. Yeah, that would have been. They'd been on the front page of everything. Everything, yeah, bro. Y'all yeah, were a Barack and Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> about all that, man. Y'all really were like the Jay-Z and Beyonce. Because yeah. Alicia could sing. Yeah. He's <laughs> on the football team. PSO, yeah. Yo, yeah. Was, I would say, yeah. After Jeff, Rashad, you're probably the closest to probably being in a ring by spring category because you dated yeah. a, a bit at Geneva. 
Bro, we did it for two years, my guy. That was no well, ring by spring. Uh, we, we saw it. We thought about it. We thought it. We definitely... You probably had the most serious relationship besides Jeff, though. That's yeah. it. So, did you feel any sort of pressure? Let's ask you that. Did I feel pressure what? To do a ring. By spring? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I said the thought was not even there. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I would say this though. But you know what? What made ours a little bit different too, though, is that we live separate. So like, she lived in Pittsburgh. I lived in Baltimore. So we never really had that. Like, a lot of these, a lot of these couples, I feel like they don't live far from each other neither. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's not a four or five hour gap in between them. So even when school's not in session, they're still spending time together. They're still doing this. They're still doing that. So with her and I, we were able to move a little bit slower. Because every Thanksgiving and Christmas and spring break and Easter break or summer break, we were separate from each other, you know? Mm. Yeah. I think I had one Easter up there, and that was it. Hmm. <laughs> Somebody's at mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just live and learn, like, you know? I ain't messing with y'all. <laughs> yeah, you live and learn, goddammit. <laughs> hey, Thomas, Thomas was almost... Uh, Ooh, yeah, Thomas. <laughs> he was almost something by spring. Family by spring. That man, Thomas, that man Thomas came in single, left freshman year, about to be celebrating Father's Day. Yeah, okay. Yeah. When we, when, when we drop it, I, oh, I got this idea for a couple episodes down. We all got to take an episode, obviously, start with Thomas, where like it'll be the Thomas episode, the Rashad episode, the Chia episode, the Ian episode. All right. We all just like. Talk about our lives, <laughs> obviously with the whole Geneva impact, but because oh, yeah, because I feel like people gotta learn about us individually. Like we're just cutting up right now, but they don't really know anything about us. Hey, Thomas first, bro. Tom is definitely going I've first. Already the shortest story. <laughs> I nah, you got the shortest time frame, but the longest story, player. <laughs> and y'all got some twists and turns. <laughs> Shit like a roller coaster. It all started in the three. <laughs> What was that? Uh, it wasn't the field house. What was that? That the facility? What uh, Old Main. Nah. Yeah, I think it might have been. Nah, what Old Main? It was that other building. Northwood. Like, Northwood. Yeah, it might have been. It might have been Northwood. When I got recruited, and then yeah, that year, that first semester was wild for me. Like, river. I feel like we keep teasing this. Yeah, we got to drop yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Because this shit that I was doing that y'all didn't really know about. <laughs> I feel like... That's why Geneva is, is, is in I would really tell you, like, that shit is in the middle of the hood, because I went... <laughs> I feel like... I mean, we, I I need, I need now. we introduced I, you to the hood. Man. I feel like I know part of the story, but I need the whole... Nah, hey, bro. Just give us the juicy parts. Did Not you... now, though. <laughs> <laughs> you said this... That whole fucking so that was. was pause. <laughs> Chia, what do you want? <laughs> Chia, you're wild. It's a story, bro. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is the juicy parts. <laughs> Give me hey, a hey, hey, grand 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 grand. Of a time you're on. <laughs> nah. Uh, uh, I just what peeped hell? something, though. What? Three of us are wearing red. I saw that at the start. Hey, the original three. I ain't get the memo. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Daughter, like, <laughs> hey, also, I feel like I didn't say this yet. Like, shout out to Joel and B, my African brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. Like for his real, story real. is insane. Like, if he came out with a movie or a book, like it would it would go crazy. Uh, oh, it's in the works. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Definitely. Especially Y'all since see, like, the, the win the chip series. this year. Ooh. So here's it my theory. Be. I think the Sixers are going to make the finals, but they're not going to win. Just like every other Philly team Don't do that this you, year man. for every other I'm, sport. Y'all know I'm a big Heat fan, man, but I said at the beginning of the playoffs, you can go check the records. Heat Nuggets, I mean, um, 76ers Nuggets, man. That would, what that would be in the game, script. Though? Yeah, that's in the script. It was, it was, we were playing with house money. Like, it was literally just a game for Joel Embiid to get his legs back under him. I agree. Uh, yeah, we're back correct correct, correct me if I'm wrong. The it's next two games don't be a Philly, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be insane, especially since Joel just got MVP. Yo, I got a question for y'all, though. What is it? 
<laughs> I'm about to stir the pot a little bit. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I know what's about to happen. <laughs> I don't know where this Everybody is going. Gotta answer too. <laughs> Everybody has to answer. So, I guess Jarwood can't really answer because he's not in a relationship right now. But hey, hey, hey. Which one? Freedom. <laughs> which of your significant other's friends would you smash? Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. Oh, Lord. I did not Man. think I was going there. Bottle <laughs> up, my dude. Put that shit up. What? Try here. Hey, you know what's crazy? Hey, you know what's crazy? Put that shit up. He, Ian Ian been wanting to answer this question. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know it would be it would be her best friend, which is me. I'm her best friend. Pause. <laughs> pause. Super pause. You smash yourself. Pause. I, mean, I guess it's the least. I, I used to do it before. So. <laughs> what? Pause. What? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> family like friendly that, ass like here, bro. I, I thought I thought my man was gonna ask. I was oh, like, yo, Ian's about to answer this? Like, whoa. <laughs> <He's related. laughs> Hell no. When I said her best friend, I was like, <laughs> Hell no. Ring by spring, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it was a couple of springs later, but it was spring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, all right, I got a, I got a real question. Yeah, um, yeah not that one. Yeah. <laughs> If I don't know how to phrase this, like if it, hey, hey, what would you have done real quick if one of us would have answered that question? What would you have done? That was going viral immediately. If, would, if, 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 if fucking Chia was like, I would smash blah blah blah. You'd be like, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, you got a good lawyer, bro. You got a good lawyer. <laughs> Holy cow! How are we? Oh shoot! I guess we're Ian. Let me see if I can help Ian out. Do you think that, like, I, I guess men and women could have, like, a platonic relationship where they would go on, like, trips together? <laughs> Is that where you're going? And, and not be feeling, not be feeling one another a little bit, secretly. I mean, I've done it. I went on I uh, feel like if you're going on trips with somebody, like. I mean, it wasn't just, like, me and her, but. One of my uh, former best friends, dog, is a, is a woman, and we've been friends for a while, for years, you know what I'm saying? And uh, when we went to Houston, it was her birthday trip. Now, granted, it wasn't just me and her, but we didn't go on, like, a couple's trip neither, you know what I'm saying? And right. it was never, there was never a, we ain't even sleep in the same room, you know what I mean? Like, it was never anything like that. Like, it's, it's, it's definitely possible, man. Yeah, it's, it's doable. So here's my theory. No, no. There's some backstory to this. Like me, Jarwood, and John were talking about this earlier in a text message. John Henry is going to Mexico with three of his friends, but they're all—all all three of them are females. And my thought was that one, at least one of them in that group is feeling Jarwood. And I and I agreed in a Mexico trip. Now here's what here's what I said though. Hold here's on, let me my think theory. About, hold on, let me think about that. <laughs> let, right. While you think it's about that, let me tell you this theory. I think no other dudes. Nah, can. nah. Here's my theory. There's a point where you're like, man, is there potential here? We're gonna fill this out. This is gonna be exploratory. We're gonna be like, man, if we feel something, we are gonna do something. And then y'all hang out, and you're like, you know, what? Um, it's just better the way it is. And then y'all just go about y'all. But so I then feel at like that there's point, it's platonic. Then at that point yeah. after you decided that like there's nothing there or like whatever rules y'all decide if y'all want to be fuck buddies whatever it is y- y'all gotta go through that and then you'd be like mm, it's either one thing or another and if not then y'all just going but why you gotta go to mexico to figure that out because my man's literally about to take a sandwich to the cafeteria he can figure <laughs> that out by going to her crib like you don't gotta go all the way to mexico to figure that shit out i'm just saying yeah, y'all would take it <laughs> farther than it even is like i don't even think you have to i mean you can figure it out on day one so if you figure it out on day one, and that, that counts. Yeah, so maybe, maybe, it is, it maybe it is the figuring out on day one because it makes it awkward though. But I feel like there's some point that if a girl is hanging out with a guy, there's something like they're trying to figure something out, and then once they figure it out, then you guys can just be friends. But well, I guess we don't figure it out already. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't believe you. <laughs> 
Y'all hung out before? Yeah, yeah, we cool. Oh, so it ain't nothing. Like, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm like trying wait, to explain. Wait, wait, like, who are you talking about? <laughs> who are you All talking right. about? Who, who are you cool with? The, the people I'm going to Mexico with. All three of them? Because it sounds like you're talking about one person. <laughs> All three of them, boy. I mean, y- y'all made it sound like a one. No, all three of them, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> nah, oh, bro. Man, y'all bro. were finna go to Mexico, get a dick wet. <laughs> you know what I am? Where I am going, though, in December, I'm trying to go to Ghana, and I might come back with a wife on that. <laughs> hey, y'all were. No, hey, there's y'all no two ways I'm, about that. I mean, I'm to Florida, I, you you have my blessings. <laughs> I'm saying it'll be my first time going back to the motherland since I left in 05. Like I Damn. might come back with the wife. I might be mesmerized over there. I you said, don't fall in love, bro. Definitely change the subject real quick. But <laughs> I, would, like, I one of my bucket list things is to go to Ghana. I just you don't know, know if bro, I can pull it off. We stop year. in Nigeria if y'all want to. Like it ain't nothing to me. Hey, but... Nigeria too. It's all about who you know, man, and I'll show y'all the spots. Yeah, that's all you need to know. Go after the election. That's universal law. You don't want to be in a country when it's election year. You don't want to in an African country. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you don't, you don't yeah. want those problems. So Been there, done that. Not trying to yeah. do it again. <laughs> yeah, so. But nah, y'all going to eat some organic food the whole time. You're going to see natural, natural beauty, all that good shit. For the unmarried man, I will see some natural beauty. <laughs> but nah, that's a. I guess there's something to put out there. If we gonna take a all, I don't know how that's gonna work for niggas with families I'm talking about Ian, but all guys trip or something like that at some point. Yeah, I can't. I can't do an all guys trip across the world. That's not hard. <laughs> yeah, well, I, like, I, I go to Florida. Florida. Let's go to Florida. <laughs> go to Florida. I go to Florida. Yeah, I go to Florida. Y'all, y'all do need to all come uh, down, man. Yeah, I go to Vegas. Dude, I love, I would love, yeah. I love Florida. I've oh, been done both. Briscoe, I'm actually going to be down there in uh, October. Say like less. three days for a wedding. Hey, come hey, y'all should come up to but, New um, man, when I'm up there. I would love to go to, I love New York so much. Me too, it's my favorite city. Man. So I got another Me question too. for you guys, kind of kind of on the subject of like relationships and stuff. Would you break up with your significant other to meet your favorite celebrity? No. Just to meet him? <laughs> no, that's, stakes yeah, aren't even like high. Wait, am I married to my significant other? No, you don't no. have to be married, no. Well, still no. That's like din- that's like dinner with Jay Z and five hundred thousand. No, but that. what if? But what if it's like your celebrity crush? I don't care. They, I, are we going to be in a romantic relationship? If yeah, not, that's what I gotta find out. Like, yeah. I high, like I'm a big fan kind of thing, or yeah, big fan. No, you, you get to hang out with them. Like that's what like meeting like, 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 you know, <laughs> Yeah, like what are we doing? You know what I'm like I'm a confident dude, but I don't think my race is enough to get Rihanna. So no. <laughs> if Rihanna's married, like what? Are you... that's, that's, just, that's what I'm saying. Like, why am I leaving my soulmate just to just to say hi right, to so Rihanna? Your, your answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I was like 13, I would have done that for Jessica Alba, but that's again, I I like, <laughs> like Ian has thought about this, and I feel like he would do it. <laughs> no, I, w- I wouldn't do it. Yeah, who's your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush? Taylor yeah. Swift. I feel like everybody in here knows that it was. It used to be Taylor Swift. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking about Jarwood Miley. It was Miley. I still got a little thing for yeah. Miley Cyrus. But she need to be acting right though. She, 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 yeah. right. she can buy herself flowers. She don't need you. <laughs> she really <laughs> cares. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> nah, bro. I was young. I was young. Young my ass. Yo, Jarwood Jarwood tried to tell me that Miley Cyrus was gonna be a bigger star than Taylor Swift back in the day. <laughs> no one yeah, could have predicted think about that. It, it wasn't this, hot is, this is 2008, 2009. Think about it. she was at her top, yo. Wrecking ball. Was, yeah. That was before. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that was it. That was the highest she got. Uh Mike Will made it. It's it is man Jarwood. Jarwood heard party in the USA and lost his mind. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that was and still is a bop. Okay. Hey, you had a yeah. Yard, let me tell you. You like the country <laughs> girls too at that point, so it makes sense. Would you break up with your significant other for twenty mil? <laughs> yes. If we're not married yet. Can can they be my situationship? 
can they then be no, you, you, you can't talk to them ever again. You can send them money. <laughs> you don't got to talk to them. Yeah, I, I, I'd send some money. You can. <laughs> or, or do you guys have a price? Like 100 mil? Like, Everything has a price. Everything a definitely has a price. <laughs> I Dude, know. I, I sell insurance to old people that get divorced just so they could save $300 on Social Security and just still hang <laughs> out. So it's not really... It's not really... <laughs> It's not really that serious. <laughs> like, my yeah, like, if you break up, hey, if I get twenty mil, can we live together? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> uh, I still call her Bay. Like, hey, Bay, come on. <laughs> you met your girlfriend. You my Bay. <laughs> we go together. Oh man. man, what's up with this significant <laughs> other breakup stuff with you, Ian? Man, you on a kick, huh? You were just trying to spice it up. No, I was. Yeah, I was just, yeah, I was just no, I know, I know. questions, trying to spice it up based on the theme that we set for today. True, true. Uh, ring, watch, uh, ring. So, you good? That ain't even that good weed no more. <laughs> I know, he's with Reggie over there. <laughs> Never that. What Wayne said, smoking on Keisha. No, give me a chill. Don't do that. <laughs> this man trying to stop my child and get him <laughs> man, they Don't do that. Oh. Son, crack it. Don't do that, man. Let me get some more of that, man. Virginia ain't got no good weed. What you not gonna do? Virginia does not got no good weed. What you're not finna do is you're not finna do that. So let me ask y'all this back to <laughs> the ring by spring thing, real quick. Do you think there's an element to like the fact that if you, you know, you know how it is, you start off young, they build you, everything is based on potential. He's gonna go get this degree, he's gonna go to this this and whatever but like the fact that you get married super early show that you confident in your decisions and that kind of makes people want to do it just to kind of show that you know kind of in control nah no not not black people all right, all right. <laughs> you know, black people will date you forever before we marry you so we yeah to- <laughs> yeah but, you're right. were there any black people you know that got ring by springs no. Mm, no. Oh, how many people <laughs> you know got the ring? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like Jeff might be Le- like Jeff and Lament might might be the Bruh. only ones. Lamont might be the yeah, only ones. Uh, Jeff and Lamont might be the only ones. Yeah, I was I, rooting for a Tierra, but that didn't work out. Oh yeah, I was rooting oh, for Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that for a bit. Yeah, I forgot about that. Who else? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> wait, yep. Wait. Yep. 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 JB? Who? Was it JB? Yeah. It was JB. For school, yes. Yes, oh, he went to yeah. school. Yes. <laughs> yes, he went to school. <laughs> I know JB. I'm trying to remember, but I mean, Emma Tierra was there. That's true. Hey, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> not, not the person hey, John, I was gotta, referring to. You got a fuzzy in your hair, Joe. Yeah, huh? You got a fuzzy in your hair. Where at? Oh right shoot! Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So that's not um, Christmas. Take a picture. Yeah, who else? I know. Right? Dang, my camera's that good. Y'all can tell my fuzzies. <laughs> but yeah, uh, black couples or just couples, just like I, couples that included black people. I, I can't think. Oh of wait, one. we keep forgetting DJ. DJ married too. Oh yeah. 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 DJ Steve Polite. Steve Polite. Oh. Yes. Oh yeah, they're both Genevans. Yeah, but yeah, not like both. not like you know our B Genevans. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, um I, hey, I'm gonna Genevans, drop I'm gonna yeah. drop this name double M Redbone Double M Melody Michelson. Who the fuck is that? Um, was like that was kind of before our time though. That was before our time, yeah. She a little like bit. A, she was a junior or something when we were freshmen, yeah. right? Yeah. She's partying at her house though, but yeah. she's married. Yeah, she, then she, she was married when we met her. Yeah, she, yeah. she might have no, got her ring last spring. She, was, she, she was did. Dating that guy <laughs> heavy, though. Yeah. yeah, she still threw them parties, but it was yeah. She knew what she wanted. Uh, Who what was yeah, that, that's There's not many but Who did we used to call potential? Potential. Oh, I know who you're talking about because we use your house That's kind of a party a couple names, times. Yeah. <laughs> we were, we were, we were eighteen, nineteen. We were messed up people. I mean, it wasn't a bad name. It was just like 
We're not. Why, why are they we're not fully there yet? <laughs> hey, y'all remember? Uh, y'all remember? I do know. I do know someone who. I guess she. I don't know if she counts as. I don't know if she counts for our community. I know she would come to our cookout. And she's married. I, I need more than that. Yeah. We came in as freshmen together. From a different country. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, I, is this person from a different country? Oh, I think I, I think I know what you're talking about. Dropping names, no. Start with a J. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I knew that. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, um, I think uh, if if this was a uh, love is blind and it's the reunion. So the question asks: uh, So is love really blind? Oh, Casey's <laughs> married too. <laughs> Casey ain't He's- black. She's Jewish. Jewish case. She was in our friend group. Like she was the closest black person, though. That was she's one hundred percent invited to the cookout. <coughs> yeah, she, she was mad real. It's, it's crazy we both live in Pittsburgh. I only seen her like once out though. I feel like she was on that ring by spring thing, and then she I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I, the way we rooted for her and Will was a little bit too crazy. <laughs> We switched up quick though when Will started taking us to YSU. That wasn't gonna work anyway. <laughs> that man took us to YSU one time. We said, man, Carly all the way, man. <laughs> we love y'all together, man. Love y'all, man. Oh, that's funny. We're, oh, remember with the teal? Oh, never mind. I think it was yeah, we went to Teal. We went to yeah. Teal. Yeah. Teal. yeah. Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, 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 she was there for the MGK yeah. concert. Yeah, we were smack, <laughs> smacking the wine. Bro. We were drinking the box wine, smacking the bag. We, we were at first time seeing somebody on Molly, yo. Yeah, the wrestling team was on Molly. Hey, Thomas, it was, it was all out there fighting. That, that was yeah, crazy. It was this, crazy. This is why I said <laughs> in the beginning that these niggas got stories that they ain't told. Want to be all professional in their introductions and shit. Kind of motherfuckers was wild in college. I just want everybody to know that shit. That's why. That's why yeah. we got. That's why we got on the podcast, Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I I did you, did Fuck you guys have a game plan if somebody tried to fight us at that Teal uh, Machine Gun Kelly concert? Why do I feel like that's a conversation that happened? If y'all, because I had a game, I had a whole game plan. Like I knew what I was gonna do. What was it? If, I'm not gonna tell y'all, because then <laughs> everybody's gonna know. Like, if we go to Teal again to an MGK concert, how can I do it if something pops off? Then everybody's on Molly yeah. except us. We can't let the ops yeah. know, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too many, too many ops. <laughs> Oh uh, man, I'm my corporate job tomorrow. I got the ops waiting for me. <laughs> no, and they was all wrestlers, like Yeah. That didn't, Joe, that didn't matter at some point. Like, you got us. That I was fast. I'm just gonna say that I was fast back then. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I was probably Hey Jarrell, you was the fast, slowest one Ian, out of all of us. Ian still cooked you in them one on ones. Ian and Will Ranger cooked me. Cause you had your eyes in the backfield. That's why. <laughs> That's how I knew DB was not for me. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. That's why. I feel like people don't know that I got hair. I'd be wearing hats all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, uh, you got hair. I really got hair. <laughs> that's the NFL player. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I ain't no hat head, man. Right. <laughs> I mean, Raheem Mosier up in here. Bro, you know people still invite me to go to Top Golf. <laughs> I will never go to Top Golf in Fort Myers ever again. <laughs> I don't even. I feel like there's a backstory there. I don't know. Bro, oh, basically, yeah. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what happened. I walked in. No, nah, I ain't gonna tell you what happened, man. Nah, <laughs> matter of fact, don't need to tell them. Look, just go Google Raheem Mostert, Mostert and everybody and at then Top come Golf back and look at him. Yeah, <laughs> it's well, gonna make John- so much sense. Draw wouldn't she and Google it right now on your phones? What? What Raheem Mostert. And the crazy thing is, one of the people in our party actually played actually plays professional baseball. I was with an actual professional athlete, and they swore. That. <laughs> you are, you are the professional athlete. That's where I was yeah, at. I can see it. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh, listen, why would I drive uh, from Miami uh, to, <laughs> see see to play top ball? You try to be low key. Raheem. See, I tried to look, try to date. <laughs> That's funny. 
It's not. And he's the dumb. same age as you, bro. Hey, we right around the same size, too. Keep the G. We right around the same size. Keep the G. Oh, man. Funny. Hey, well, he knows he knows you got a doppelganger out here. Yeah, what's your hey. favorite what's your favorite fast food spot? Uh, All right, wait, no, we, we gotta we gotta clarify this. Like, what's the budget? Cause you know fast food has because if we're just talking regular fast food, I'm a Wendy's guy, but like if we're talking Yeah, lunch, it's just regular fast food, like Wendy's that four like, for four. I like, will write a thesis on the fact that the four for four Revolutionize the fast food industry. At I, I ain't gonna lie. Jack in the box. I know. I was gonna say, gonna gonna say, say. Jack I, know, I was gonna say, Jack but I feel like it's a different tier, bro. Like I was gonna say Chick Fil A, mm-hmm. but then we don't. Even I was gonna say, yeah, I want to say Wendy's, either. and y'all bring Chick Fil A into this. Like, like but Shake Shake Shack is it? Shake Shack is up there too. That's a different tier. Shake Shack is number one. It's There's a different tier, like we're it's talking like budgets. Premium. It's like what do you mean yeah, budgets? It's premium, the same price for a burger. Nah, see, you that's why. That's why I, I knew food? I asked my question. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I feel like you apex. I feel like when it comes to fast food. <laughs> You got to look at the fries and their apex, and at their apex, there's no fries better than McDonald's. It's just a model of consistency. I'm gonna take McDonald's every day. That's the Shake Shack. Shack. Fresh, well, fresh McDonald's. This man, <laughs> this man swears by Shake Shack. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yo, Shake Shake Shack ain't even top three because he Jarwood talking about the four for four, <laughs> but Wendy's really got the biggie bag. That's what really that five. Well, they took the four for four away. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's that was the like, five dollar biggie bag. No, this Wait, so, so Wendy's is top three because because of the prices? Nah, it's bro. It's a biggie bag, bro. It's the all around value and taste. Like, uh, hey, yeah, get the, look, hey, we better Even get Lee's chicken, chicken is, is, is up there, bro. <laughs> Yo, What's I got chicken? What? <laughs> you check, y'all ever been to cookout? Yo, oh, yeah, cookout, cookout is all right. Cookout's all right. Cookout's I don't know all right. what cookout is. Zaxby's be lit sometimes. Nah, Zaxby's is. I never had they Zaxby's. They fell off here. Zaxby's but Zaxby's Raising fire, Kings? Don't, don't. Yeah, don't. I think that churches is overrated, though, to be honest. Uh, Zaxby's? Churches. I think churches are overrated. Uh, yeah. bro, bro, bro. Hey, yeah. we all sleeping on checkers, though. Oh yeah, the uh, rabbit. I was literally saying like checkers. Because checkers are good. I'm not gonna lie. Checkers are usually yeah. good for me. <laughs> it's the strawberry soda, really. That's what it is. Yeah, that that founder though. Oh my lord, Thomas, I'm not gonna forgive you for saying Jack in the Box though. Like what? Why not? <laughs> Jack, in no, Jack in the trash. Box is Jack in the Box is oh, fire, man, but it's not top three. Nah, Jack in the Box is trash everywhere I've been, Jack, bro. Jack in the Box is top ten. What? White Castle. Y'all have White Castle. Name hey. better. No, White Castle, White Castle is not it. Yeah, he, look, that's gonna mess my stomach up immediately. <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd probably take a uh, Taco Bell over what over White Castle. To be honest. Oh my yeah. god! No, yeah. Jack in the Box yeah. combined. Yeah. Hey, Whoa. Y'all, no, y'all Jack in the Box is is fire. Yeah, I was tripping. Jack in the Box, yeah, Jack in the Box is is lit. And then you got fuck, damn, what's that other fucking restaurant out there? In and Out, y'all. Yeah, no one said In and Out yet. And then in and out is I've like never had it, you know, so I can't. Hey, here's here's the question it. though. What's the best fast food chicken place? Pop up? Mm. No, I will not. Popeye's chicken KFC. Is really good. Hey, you Have you had the KFC chicken sandwich? Chick-fil-A is still KFC, bro. Like what is left with chicken sandwich? Chick-fil-A is still in there. Like, Chick- Chick- bro, like, hey, hey, is still in there. <laughs> hey, they brought back the double. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that bitch back so got yeah. fast. Popeye's and Chick-fil-A. That's all I'm saying. I will stick with that. Popeyes and Chick Fil A, yeah. yeah, that's it. But if you got to pick, no, one. Put, you got to put KFC in that in that group, what? bro. We KFC talk, fell off since about... the nineteen nineties. Are we talking about fried chicken? Or are we talking about chicken sandwiches? Yeah, fried chicken or chicken sandwiches? Chicken. If we got, oh no, it was it's chicken. Gonna, so I'm gonna say between Hardee's and fucking Hardee's? Popeyes. Hardee's. Hey, Hardee's is they're good for burgers. Nah, you you ain't never had no fresh Not chicken. chicken. Yo, Hardee's is a I wild team. Dude, I, used to, I used to eat Hardee's all the time, dude. They're quarter pounder. All yeah, that shit. But no, the chicken when that shit fresh out the grease is. I can't even tell you where to find a Hardee's. I uh, yeah. Oh, probably, I saw my first Hardee's when I moved to the Midwest. I don't call it Carl's Jr. Hardee's yeah, and yeah. Carl's Jr. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, all, right. Right. all right. All right. What fast food has the best breakfast though? Chick-fil-A got the chicken minis. Yeah. Wendy's. 
And Wendy's breakfast is slap. Hey, Wendy's they fucking honey slap. Slap. Chicken, sandwich, chicken biscuit from Wendy's. That yeah. Yeah. Hey, Monkey Taco King Bell King breakfast King. is lit too. Burger King it got is. the croissants. Burger King, yeah. Burger King like do got the croissants. But yeah. got and they got the breakfast, like those, uh, those breakfast burritos they have are kind of fire. Yeah. Nobody yeah. said McDonald's? Nah. They, I mean, they had a McGriddle. They kind of fell off though, but like. They did. You don't really like, ooh, I'm about to go get some McDonald's for breakfast. Like, nah, you, you, you know, it's like chicken. Not at this point in my life, you know, maybe in college. I will, hey, I will serve my McDonald's sweet McDonald's tea. Though. We definitely want to get Taco Bell McGriddles and shit. Taco Bell breakfast. Taco Bell breakfast. I used to have those, uh, what you call it, uh, sliders, not the sliders. Might have been the sliders. A breakfast slider? Yeah, I used to have this job where I worked at 4 a.m., and we would uh, so I would wait at six thirty. That'd be that's when my break would be, and I would go to the Taco Bell as soon as it opened and get Taco Bell breakfast. Man, it don't even matter. You no know American runs on Dunkin', right? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I, for now, now, now for me, the Dunkin' is airport food. Like every time I hit an airport, I gotta hit a Dunkin' Donuts. I, I got a question. What? So th- to take it back to where where we we came from, <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday night, right? You got, you got fifteen dollars. How many flex points I got? Nah, you can't use your flex. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, can't, you can't use your flex. You can't use your flex. But you got fifteen dollars. Right? Damn. Where you going? Is you going? Is you ordering from Papa John's? You gonna take that walk to McDonald's? You going to Sheets? Oh, in, at Geneva. Or, oh, yeah, oh, at Geneva. Yeah, Papa. Or, or but our budget is only fifteen. Is, is the bread only got fifteen dollars? No, nah, you can't go to the bread. I can't go to the bridge. Give me cheese. cheese. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to cheese. I'm getting four dollar dogs. Four dollar dogs and a Gallagher's tea. Spending the rest of the money on alcohol. Say it. <laughs> I'm getting a meatball sub from Sheets because they did used to have those meatball subs. And then yeah, yeah I buy, oh, no, I I buy a snap on ninety nine cent Snapple. Bro, remember you gotta get the Gallagher's tea. The Gallagher's, the Gallagher's tea. tea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why did we used to have those in our room with the stink bugs? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's stink another bugs. episode. Bro. That's the wooden fire escape. That's another episode. Look, man. Hey, literally hey. roommates with stink bugs. <laughs> yeah, I really feel like the Sheets hot dogs like helped our immune systems. Man, they were they were two for a dollar. Two for a dollar. You could put any toppings you want on there. Bro, I would you walk love that with four hot dogs, chili uh-huh. cheese, ketchup. <laughs> Pay two dollars and some change. Or you be sad, ready to go to football camp <laughs> with no money. Was definitely the motherfucking place to go because you racking. Yeah, you like you ten dollars, you racking up. I couldn't wait yeah, to walk out there and go get me that ring by spring, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need a sponsorship from Sheets because they up. Yeah, they got some money now. Yeah, yeah, speaking yeah. of Sheets, I don't know if Jarwood and uh, Briscoe remember this, but we were walking the Sheets one night. And I feel like they know where I'm going with this. Like the cops were like looking for somebody, like in Beaver Falls while we were walking the sheets. Like the cops that. put the spotlight on us, huh? I do remember that. And asked yeah. if, we, if we knew who it was. But like two minutes before, we seen the dude running, like hiding him in the bushes, like. But we just we didn't know what was going on. Before we did, right, yeah. but no, we didn't see him. And yeah. I hope he got away. <laughs> was I up there this time? <laughs> no, this is our freshman year. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of outlandish sheets trips. Like the time that Kobe hit that shot over Dwayne Wade and we all hopped up and ran out of the house and ran all the way to sheets. <laughs> <laughs> that was wild. Yeah. And then we would walk and then like that's back before a day, like when I don't know, we didn't have speakers, so we'd sync all three of our phones to the same play song. That Meek Mill song. Countdown to Meek three Mill. and press play. <laughs> Was it Rosé Red? Yeah. It was, uh... I like my Rosé Red and my diamonds blue. My diamonds yeah. like five times two. Right. It was close to something else, but it, it had that in there. I'm going to look it up later, but... Buddies didn't even we have a Bluetooth speaker. We didn't. We, had, we were probably the brokest dudes on campus. Rough. Still, hey, the thing that hurt like, most was the no car, man. Yeah. Yeah, that was... That shit that was, was a problem. Wild. Like, but it was clutch to know somebody with a car. They 
Then you get even closer, and they, they let you dry the shit without them being in it. But yeah. That I was broke until I got my job at the Home Depot. But then I was still broke. I was still so trying to figure out how you got a job at the Home Depot. I didn't even know there was a Home Depot until you got the job there. Yeah, it was up there in Chippewa. It was by the Taco Bell KFC. All the places we went, you couldn't go somewhere to get us a discount. Babe. I didn't want no plywood. I'm working at Champs. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Oh, damn, I wasn't there for that. Oh. Huh? I was. You worked at Champs? Yeah. Well, I went up there. I met you up there that one time. I think I worked there for like two semesters. What? And then I graduated and just left. Didn't tell him nothing. Just left. <laughs> I think I grabbed the gray toe in there. I grabbed the shoes, the gray toe Jordan 13s from you. I think you did. Yeah. I ain't gonna say yeah, no dick. I ain't gonna say what you gave me. <laughs> Hook me up. <laughs> Hook me up. <sighs> Shit. Don't worry about what I paid. But I... <laughs> Thank you. Hey man, look out of here. Man, this this episode was time, supposed man. to be about bring my shoes. It was in the beginning, <laughs> oh, man. It's about that time to hit it, man. But appreciate y'all again stopping in, hanging out with us. Uh, we missing Jeff. He's the one that uh, he got. He was the closest to getting that ring by spring. So guess what? We we're gonna double back and touch on this a little bit when we get on here next time. But appreciate you guys for kicking it with us. Totally looking forward to our next episode. Like Jarwood said, we're gonna start diving into each one of us individually, talking about our unique experience. Because, like Thomas said, you know we got them. So. A Hemothy, him, Hemi Butler, Sir, and Lay. We out here. <laughs> See y'all next time. Hey, hey. <laughs>